morning, BR. I'm Anna Nicole. I'm Diego. And happy Monday morning, and we have your announcements. This is a message to any students looking for volunteer hours. Mr. DeClaudio is looking for one or two students to help out with our basketball program. Please see him at some point throughout the day. Thank you. Attention BR, the art, tri the art trip to the Art Gallery of Ontario is just four days away. For those students who are interested in attending this trip, please be advised that there will be only three seats still available. Not only will you have the chance to view the greatest collection of art in Canada, you will also see a special ex exhibition of movie sets and memorabilia from classic as well as recent monster movies. If you'd like to attend this monumental trip, please bring your signed form and payment to Mr. to Ms. Bensetic or Mr. Pelzoni in Art Room 221-222 by Wednesday at the latest. Finally, for those students that have already signed up for the trip, please visit the Art Room as soon as possible to pick up your copy for your teacher permission forms and other trip instructions. With thanks, the Art Team. And that's all we have for you at the desk. Stay tuned for more WRBR News. Good morning, Bishop Ryan. I'm Ms. Demsar, drama teacher and proud director of last week's school play, Three Times the Magic. I just want to take a moment to thank the people involved and to tell you how very, very proud I am of the wonderful, talented students and staff we have here at Bishop Ryan. We put on three plays last week, five days of performances, two matinees and three evening performances. The people that were able to join us saw the talents, the dedication, and had a lot of fun with our um, BR players and behind the scenes and crews. So I want to first of all say thank you to Mr. Tabone, to our administrative team, secretarial staff, custodial staff, the parents, and all of the adults that were involved. We had um, 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 Miss uh, uh, Miss Denoy with the cosmetology kids doing a fabulous job. The box office by Miss Profeto and Miss Mazuka. Set construction, Mr. Vitali in the construction classes. Set decoration, Miss Bensetic and the art classes. Um, Miss Advorney doing an amazing job putting together the poster, put, helping uh, doing the program, the tickets, costumes and props with me. She was my AD and I thank her very much for all of her help doing that. The kids that were working, the, the um, um, stage crew, Sarah Church and Ben Woodcroft and Ayla Zaletsky and Samantha Unelli, fantastic job scrambling backstage. Couldn't have done it without you. And tech, Christian Fielding, our tech manager who made the lighting so wonderful, and Neil Langdon, an alumni, BR, once a BR player, always a BR player, came back to do the music cues. Thank you so much to Mr. Hall for taking photographs, and thank you so much to Ms. Citrino for, and her Celtic video crew for putting together the announcements, the video announcements, taking the pictures, taking the videos. Thank you so much. Um, I hope I haven't forgotten anybody, the, the Drama Council for putting together stuff, and for you, the students and staff who came out to see the plays. I'm so proud, I'm so happy, the kids did an amazing job. So, if I've forgotten anybody to say thank you, I'm sorry, but thank you all. Till next time, with love, Ms. Demsar. Good morning, Bishop Ryan, and happy Monday, November the 27th. Yes, this is the final week of this caterpillar on my face, and that is quite exciting for me, my wife, and probably all of you. Uh, we are not going to meet with Celtic Fusion today, so Celtic Fusion uh, can have the week off. We will resume next week, next Monday. Uh, tomorrow being Tuesday, Mr. Tabone would like to see the groove for a full rehearsal, and Wednesday, full BR Expression rehearsal back on the stage bringing the noise and getting ready as we continue to build our repertoire for our gala shows and for Nashville. So full BR expression, everybody from grade 9 to 12 to 13, 12 plus because it's not called 13 anymore. Uh, thank you so much, my friends. Have a wonderful week. And uh, well, I'll probably see you again tomorrow. So have a wonderful day, but also have a wonderful week. Thanks so much. And now back to WRBR. Hi, 
I'm Sophia, and I'm here with your sports announcements, and I'm also here with... Linda. Congrats to the Junior Boys football team for winning the championship this past Friday. The Pita Pit Athlete of the Week is Dylan Bernardo from the championship game. Fresh thinking, healthy eating, Pita Pit. Congratulations to the Senior Boys basketball team for capturing the bronze medal over the weekend at Notre Dame Welland Tip-Off Senior Boys Tournament. The coaches were proud of the effort of all the players throughout the tournament. Special mention goes out to Christian Capongo for his excellent offensive play and scoring, to Terrell Burke for his excellent defensive play throughout the tournament, and lastly to Tyrek Lennox for being selected to the tournament all-star team. Good job, boys. Practice this today at 5.40 p.m. Thanks from the coaches. And also, um... There's also a junior boys basketball practice today at 4.10. And stay tuned for more WRBR news. Oh, good morning, BR. Pretty crowded here today. Something happened, I think, on the weekend. Guess what? If you might uh, search on BR web, or sorry, searching on the web, if you type in BR Celtics, I bet you're going to find a synonym called winning. That's what's been happening lately. So congratulations to the junior football team. What an incredible comeback. More about that, I'm sure, uh, very soon. Uh, the wrestling team, they traveled on Friday uh, to the Eden Wrestling Tournament. It was our second outing of the season, and we came back with a truckload of medals. Congratulations on the rook, uh, for our rookie boys who placed third bronze medal was Garrett Ryan and Ran Muhammad Ali. Taking silver medals in the rookie boys was Nathan Crisanti, Dante Di Benedetto, Daoud Rana, Noah Trout, and winning gold in the rookie boys division on the weekend was Hunter King Spittle, Wyatt Hutchinson, and Braden Bourgeois. In the senior boys division, our senior boys, we had bronze medals won by Matthew Davison, Elijah Padmore, Zarin Macdessian, Adriano Di Benedetto, and Francesco Fortino with silver medals won by Momen Siddick and Evan Scott, and we had one gold in the boys, senior boys division by Joseph D'Alessandro. And then moving to the girls division, they brought home the most medals uh, of our categories, and bronze medals were won by Mary Elizabeth Allen, Alexia Gray, Aaron Coakley, and silver medals were won by Alia uh, Charmoli, Alicia Fusa, Adna Kaderspahik, Joanna Brennick, and Selena Shimon, and capturing gold was Olivia Martinez, and winning their second straight gold in two outings were Serena Di Benedetto, Lagaya Stanellis, Elise Danes, and Eleanor Brown. So it was a great day on the mats on Friday at Eden, and it was a great day on the football field back at Newman. Uh, congratulations to the junior boys, and uh, just keep on winning. Back to WRBR. Good morning, BR. After 22 years, uh, a football team at this school has brought home gold, winning 24-22 against Carl Newman. It was a uh, surreal last seven minutes of the football game with us being down 11 points. Uh, defense stepped it up with two big stops. Uh, and we had Ventura, Anthony Ventura added two touchdowns to give us the victory and it was really like the hand of God at the end of the game to knock down that game-winning field goal attempt by Newman. Uh, it was a great season by everybody. We worked really hard. I think there was about 180 plus hours put in by these boys, the coaches, uh, and everyone else who supported us this year. I'd like to thank the students who came out to cheer us on and rush the field at the end. Uh, the staff who came out to support us. Uh, administration for being there, uh, and everyone else, like the coaches, parents. We had a lot of team dinners this year, every Thursday before our Friday games. A lot of parents came out to show their support and help us with the dinners. So 22 years, the next goal for the football program right now 
is knocking off that senior championship, which is a 33-year uh, streak. So, boys, what do we got to say? Hey. <laughs> Hey VR, it's Ellery from your grad committee with just a quick announcement about today's assembly. All graduates and grade 12 classes will be called down to the auditorium during period two for our annual graduation assembly. All potential graduates are to attend this assembly as information pertaining to all the graduate graduation um, activities will be explained. Thank you for all your continued support and cooperation. Now stay tuned for more WRBR news. desk we just have a few last announcements for you so um, congratulations again to all the athletic teams you all did great this year yes especially yeah, the so junior fun. boys basketball team on their mm -hmm. win of course yep and that's all we have for you today thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time have a great day br <laughs>